Hello YouTube, this is a video for Iceberg Bricks, aka Mel from Lego Masters Season 1. On Instagram he posted a picture of a really really cool technique where you have the cylinder, two studs on the front, which is the one by one round plate, the cheese wedge slope, you could use ones, I did a double, and when you snap another piece on top it produces an offset. So 30, I think it's 32 of these will form a circle. So he had a ring, but you could see where it was popping apart. And that's because this clutch um, is, is a barely clutch. It's like a quarter, maybe not even a half. And it's constantly trying under tension to rip out and pop off. Um, so it'd be impossible well, nearly physically impossible to get a perfect ring. Um, just getting four of them to stay together was where I was having a really tough time of it. So if I counted and it was 32, I thought, okay, uh, four of them will be an eighth. And so if I made eight of these structures and repeated it, if I reinforced it somehow, they would hold together. And it is. It's a real pain in the butt to get this column of four to hold. <clears throat> and then what I've done is taken these um, robot clip arms from ExoForce and I've slid them uh, left and right alternating between these octagonal bar elements and using a transparent four bar lightsaber blade on the bottom and a longer six, I call them an umbrella stand bar on the bottom on the outside edge, it should be inside and outside, by holding that together and having it explode three or four times, about four tries, I found the best way to do it is to clip in, to hold it in place, have this bar cross, stretch it, clip it in from the inner ring, and then very carefully snap it in an outer ring and it takes multiple tries this is a real pain in the butt but once it's together once this bar element is holding and this bar element's holding it's really sturdy so you wind up with your ring it's just that i had to use uh, clips and bars to reinforce along with the addition of these oct octagonal pieces so there you go mr iceberg you don't have to use flex tubing um, to cloud up the center. You can remain completely transparent, lighting effects, whatever you want. <clears throat> You're just going to have to accept that there's going to be this kind of funkiness going on. And I didn't try it, but the clips, uh, there's clips that are straight. And I think these this offset's necessary on the outside. I could have tried using um, white clip elements that are straight. And going directly straight from there to there that probably that might have pulled off too but because this is so difficult to put together and i've been fidgeting it for so long to figure it out i'm going to stop around halfway but it's such a cool look i may finish it off at some point all right so there you go mr iceberg no flex tubing needed um, my idea was just to reinforce every four in a row and look just eyeballing it it should make a complete circle and you can drop it, you can flip it, you can bash it, it's solid. All right, there you go, man. Good luck.